Hey guys, hope everyone's enjoying the video so far uh, on this dirty work truck. <laughs> this is a customer's truck that we usually see once a year for the, uh, here locally we have the Solanco Fair and then they have a parade where businesses and organizations can run their vehicles through the parade. Kind of advertising, it's a super, super cool event that we have done as well in the past. But this truck's super dirty. We're gonna do an inside and outside detail. Probably will be a two part, uh, this video, just the inside. Uh, typically I would, recommend air blowing it out with like an air hose or something in between the seats the dash all these areas that you see that I'm vacuuming usually I would air blow this with the air nozzle uh, but it was starting to rain and I had other vehicles in the shop next to me uh, and I didn't want to get everything dusty with blowing it out inside so I just decided to give it a quick thorough vacuum getting in all the little areas and compartments then once I think I have everything vacuumed we're just going to hit it with some cleaner cleaning all the plastics interior plastics from top to bottom uh, here I'm just using my boar's hair brush with the detail king magic cleaner the stuff works really nice for interiors I also use it on like engine apartments and other things uh, but I'm just using my boar's hair brush spraying it directly onto the brush instead of the, on the panel uh, it's pretty dirty and if I sprayed it on the whole panel all at one shot I might not be able to work fast enough it's a pretty warm day and it might dry before I even get to it so I just like to section it off also when I section it off I can focus on one area uh, make sure I get everything all at one shot I will say in this black area that I'm working around right now on the top half uh, on these GM trucks they do have some kind of clear coat on them panels uh, so you want to make sure you don't use any kind of heavy degreaser because you'll start to see that clear coat peel off the the plastic on the doors if that happens not the end of the world you just got to strip it all so it's not super visible uh, but with this stuff you don't have to worry about it and then I'm just kind of scrubbing the rest of the panel um, not, nothing crazy here you could also use the tornador as you'll see here in a little bit I'll get in that speaker area with the tornador uh, just cleaning everything scrub 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 uh, and then inspect it once you're all done and once it's uh, once everything's the whole interior is clean uh, We'll go ahead and vinyl shine everything then but here. I'm using the tornador uh, Making sure not to spray too much product into them speakers You don't want a whole lot of air pressure just a light mist make sure you get everything uh, And you can also spray on the angle if you're having issues getting some of the dirt out try a couple different angles uh, And then just wipe it clean. I've never had any issues with the tornador uh, messing up someone's speakers as of right now. I've, I've done a lot of little speaker areas uh, and haven't seen any issues so far. And then just hitting the vents. Uh, Tornador works really good on AC vents, but you still have to manually wipe them. Uh, if you look in the cup holder there, I just grabbed it. Uh, I use like a little, it's actually like a, like a pry tool, I guess, or like it's for like do removing door panels and little clips and stuff. It's a little plastic tool. That works really good to get in the AC vents. Um, using the towel. Then I'm just kind of wiping off any kind of extra residue on my brush and just wiping everything down with it's kind of a, just a damp brush not so much a wet brush. Uh, get in all the cracks and crevices uh, then I'll do the dash the same way I'll spray a little product of the Detail King uh, magic cleaner onto the brush and then do the dash area. This area I don't have to hit with a brush it's just a damp towel with a magic cleaner on it. Certain areas you got to hit with the brush or tornador, certain areas you can just hit with the towel alone and it'll take the dirt right off. Definitely want to make sure you hit them oh shoot handles there. Uh, they're always really dirty on these work trucks. Hitting the mirror, a lot of the times guys will miss the top of the mirror, so much dust and stuff gets up there. Uh, and then it's basically just doing the, all the plastics. Uh, from front to back, top to bottom, and I'll do the floor actually last, uh, just because so much stuff's going to drop down onto the floor. Cleaning the vent with the tornador again, just trying to get all the dust and dirt uh, at least loosened up. Some of it will probably get pushed back into the vent. Uh, you can only get so far in these vents. I don't, I haven't found a good tool to clean the whole way back in the vents yet, uh, unless you're going to remove like the whole vent assembly, and it's it's just not worth the time. And cleaning the knobs radio knobs um, that was a light knob I believe them they always get super dirty uh, typically on them you can agitate it with a brush uh, or just get it with a towel steering wheel I'll usually spray that with a tornador uh, it can be tough to spray around the wheel with a tornador uh, if you do spray around the wheel with a tornador you want to make sure you cover up the instrument cluster uh, that way any kind of cleaner doesn't get on that plastic shield at the odometer 
I'm cleaning ev just cleaning everything, guys. <laughs> it's pretty, it's really pr pretty basic. I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but it's just using a headlamp. I would say if you take anything away from cleaning the interior of your truck or uh, if you're working on someone else's truck is to use a headlight if you're working inside. Taj just using uh, Fiber Pro. It's Detail King Fiber Pro. It works really nice on seats and headliners. Uh, so that's what he was doing, just spot treating the headliner. Not hitting the whole thing, just kind of spot treating it. Uh, and then I'm just using the Tornador on the foot pedals, just letting all the dirt drop right onto the rubber floor. If this had carpet floor, I'd probably put a towel under there to catch any dirt. Uh, you can also just, if you didn't have the Tornador, just spray some degreaser or some magic cleaner on the pedals and scrub them with a brush. Make sure not to vinyl shine them when you're all done. Uh, you don't want any kind of grease on there for obvious reasons. Uh, Todd's just spraying the floor down with some stoner all-purpose cleaner. Wanted something a little bit stronger to use on the floor. Uh, and this is usually our go-to anyway. Uh, and just scrubbing it with a tough shine brush. You might have to scrub it a couple times. It's not uncommon. Uh, but on these, so we don't use too many towels on these. Uh, I'll actually have a bucket outside the door there and Todd will kind of wring out the that first initial wipe towel. That way he doesn't have to keep getting new towels every time he cleans it there. You can see it there. <laughs> these voiceovers are these voiceovers are interesting to do because I do them a week after I shoot the video. Um, and then he's just wiping the floor down. And then cleaning all the little accessories that we took off. Using there he's using the stoner all purpose uh, in the tornador and also in the spray bottle. Then this truck had the Carhartt seat covers. These things are nice because you can just throw them in the wash uh, and then let them air dry, and that works really well. Uh, and then he has these old real tree, or I don't know what they are, browning, the browning floor mats. I thought about ordering another set for Andy, our customer, uh, just to surprise him, but I, I just didn't have time to order them. Just spraying them with some stoner all purpose, give them a scrub, pressure wash them off, and let them dry. I do have a couple other videos on detailing work trucks and farm trucks. Uh, I'll make sure I post one at the end of this video. Then once it's all done, I'll vinyl shine all the plastics using the 303 uh, UV protectant. I'll do the floor. I'll do pretty much everything but like the steering wheel and foot pedals and then finishing it off with the glass. Jeez, Todd's working at supersonic speeds. I can't keep up with this voiceover. <laughs> there was a combine just creating lots of dust for us this day when we were detailing. Uh, then just giving everything a final vacuum. Didn't have to do anything to the seats since he had the Carhartt seat covers. Uh, if you want to watch another video, please feel free to check out this related video. Or stay tuned of part two of this truck. We'll do the outside uh, and then we'll go to the parade. Thanks for watching, guys.